fucked up, dude. So I, I, anybody who can comment like me, I bet you anybody who's watching this cannot guess where I'm from from my accent. Mars. Close enough. Ooh. Ooh. Sometimes I feel like I'm out of space. Jersey. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. I always people think I'm from Jersey. I don't know. I don't. It, it's like I'm, I talk with my hands. I'm Italian, you know. No, I'm just fucking around. Well, if you talked with your hands, wouldn't you be deaf? <laughs> I mean, I don't. I no, honestly, like, I don't know if it's Jersey, cause, 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 didn't didn't Andy used to talk kind of like Ross? <laughs> I don't. Um. And he and he's uh, he's from a trailer park in Des Plaines. Well, Andy Ross, where are you from? Park Ridge, Illinois. Is it a trailer park? Absolutely not. It's upper middle upper class. I don't wouldn't call it upper class because people from Park is it was upper class. It's completely upper class. I you disagree. There was a lot of people with average income there. If, if if you go in the right area, south of the tracks. <laughs> So have you been shot by, like, say, a slingshot or drive-by? Have you? No, not uh, well. In Park Ridge, I mean, what, if you go south of the tracks, I grew up in south of the tr- tracks. That's where my father lived. What is, south side Chicago? Oh, I thought you meant Park Ridge. No, Park Ridge is all upper class, dude. You grew up in the Park Ridge. No, I didn't. I grew up in Chicago. You... I moved. I moved to Park Ridge in like high school. Oh, okay. Anyhow, yeah. So, are you gonna call me boy? No. So you hit Gavin. You disciplined him. You made out with Kathleen that one night. Yep. Everything is great. Yep. And actually, and I got tied up like a little bitch, like I am, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Your words, not ours. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. No, but uh, you, you. you you know it was a really terrifying memory that I had. It, it reminded me when I was a kid, I went to preschool, and I remember I couldn't speak in Chicago. I couldn't speak English. I keep on forgetting. And were you born in the U.S.? Yeah, I was born so, in Chicago. Well, how come you didn't know English? Because nobody Bob? in my family knew English. Yeah. Actually, I think John taught me English a little we, bit. We were talking about this last time. Yeah. Yeah. So he uh yeah say nothing taught me some English. By saying nothing, who the fuck would have thought that? That's why. That's why I'm so bad at English. No, but he, uh, yeah, he, I was going to this uh, preschool, and I it sucked. I would fucking cry every day. You know, there was sleep time. I would just, I was like laying there waiting to um for the day to end, just to get out of there because I couldn't like talk to anybody. And oh my, I became friends with another kid who couldn't speak. But it was because he was shy as fuck. This kid Giancarlo. How we awkward. We already talked about this. Did I tell you about what yeah. is it about then? Uh, last time I remember it was some something you found in the forest. No, uh, it's uh, not about the woods. This is a different person. Okay. This kid, I'm in Chicago. So I'm laying awake in nap time. He's, I I hear some the kid the, the, the they put on some cheesy record on the record player for some reason they had vinyl players in in kindergarten. They put some cheesy nursery rhyme song for us to all, you know, go to sleep like in Michael Jackson's Neverland. And they walk out of the room, and he's too shy to walk out of the room and ask for the bathroom. So I, I look up, and there's Giancarlo doing a fucking, pulling out his five-year-old butthole, shitting on top of the finger painting table. And and I just look at him, and he's just he just goes like this. He sh- shakes his head like, no. Don't tell him I'm shitting on the finger pain, and and I'm like, okay, I don't. Even even at that age, I'm like, fuck. I wish I could speak English because this is fucked up right here. And the craziest thing is, have you ever heard that name before, Giancarlo? Not me. I've never heard that before. First day. I heard James Anthony before. That's well, so similar. Yeah, yeah, right. I get a little bit, hey, but I, well, I I moved to Park Ridge. Mm-hmm. First day in fucking Maine South, I hear somebody, yeah, I'll see you later, Giancarlo. And I see that same awkward look. He looks over, and I'm like, holy fuck. Do you, uh, can you imagine that? Like 15 years apart. He shakes his I, head again. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell him about my five-year-old butthole, you know. Can you do me a favor? Do you a favor? 
Yeah, I got so much, some more cigars in there. Can you go get them? Oh, for me, yeah. yeah for, Absolutely. For, me, for both of us. Didn't you owe me from last time? I gave you one last time. I don't remember this. I, get, it's in I the blacked video. out. It's in the video. All right. So while Phil is grabbing, Phil asked you a question, Ross. Uh, you got it? You good? I don't remember the question. What pocket? He got them. Okay. Cool. Good. You want one, Phil? May I have one, Ross, please? I'll let you put your finger in my butthole. Yeah, go ahead. You, you got to deal with open mouth here. No, really? You sure it's okay? No, I have enough. Fun. Which, one, which one do you want? I, I, you can have one. I'll have to take this one. Can I have this one? No, that's for me. Okay, so blueberry. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I got that blueberry yum yum. Actually, I'm fucking up right now because I was supposed to have my last cigar last week. That was supposed said, to. Why have... didn't you say anything? We were just over there. Well, just over where? By the no, show. it was supposed to be my last one, as in I don't want to smoke anymore. No, I should quit too. So we quit together. So, does anybody have any um? Bill, I mean, what's new with you, man? How's it been since? You couldn't talk from being high. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got a lot to say now. So. <laughs> um, yeah. Say your phone. Sorry, man. I didn't silence. God. Phone. Amateurs. Oh, Ross, if you're going to smoke, keep it on the table. Phil, turn your phone on silent. We're Prima donna. I'd organize it. Uh, oh, my God. We're, it's because so. it's, 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 it's say nothing is in here. <laughs> Fuck you, John. Yeah. I, thanks miss. For, I made it out here. What's your excuse? I miss him so does he, much. Does he all live farther than I do? He lives so much further. He lives like on the border of Wisconsin. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, did I, I a little up. sympathy, Ross. Yeah. A little he crossbows out there. He's got a like a large bullseye with your face on it. Uh, <laughs> we'll actually, go... actually, it's your butt, and then the arrow is like a finger at the tip. Yeah, that's the right way to stimulate a prostate. Oh, we'll go out there and we'll pour water bottles of gasoline on fires. And Oh, yeah, yeah. Bill, be... you should tell us about that. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know. We drove out to Say Nothing's house. I drank a lot. He had been making limoncello. I drank a bunch of that. We wanted to do a bonfire, but it had just rained recently. So we went to a gas station, filled up a gas can. And no, no, no. We, we, uh, that they did up you again? He, he, there he, was one more in there. Nobody gives a fuck about your cigars, Ross. Well, I want to finish All right? before I leave. All right. Well, you'll finish. God damn it. You'll finish yeah. it in the Uber when I sent you home. God Not damn, to interrupt you, but I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. What so. The hell? so yeah. Well, yeah. I was going to say, his his house is uh, the size of like my bathroom. Well, no, no, it's 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 bigger, but I'm saying it's a small house with a huge field because it's out in um on the Illinois-Wisconsin border, so it's like all, it, it's all cornfields. Watch Field of Dreams or Children of Corn. That's how it looks out there. It's beautiful. Like, there's no there's no rats that are the size of a cat or trash like in Chicago, you know? I've never seen a rat in Chicago. You don't. I got a rat right s- here, <laughs> you prick. You don't spend enough time in Chicago, Ross. What, what part of Chicago has rats? Fucking every part of Chicago. I, I'm not, I am not making this up. Every morning I step on a rat where I work by the factories. Yeah, there's dead rats all over the place. If you, God forbid, you should have to take the trash out. Yeah, like, I I had a rat bite me in the ankle when I was taking a piss in an alley. Why would you take a piss in an alley? Why? Because where else are you gonna go? I, I, the, <laughs> it, it, it was night. There was no children to do like, it in like front. I of. did it in the middle of uh, the the L. In the middle of the yeah. <laughs> I mean, you you're gonna do it in the middle of the L train? It, that have. that's got surveillance, man. I'm surprised I didn't get. I, I'm not into that. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't get arrested that night. I mean, it's better than pissing yourself on the L. I've seen that at the house numerous times. It's just well, well, John's house. So, so he's got a huge field in his yard. He crossbows out there. He actually has a pilot. Well, John, Uncle John, uh, see no, or say say nothing. He's got a pilot license out there because there's nothing to do out there. He uh, what? Uh, but uh, right. he he parachutes. He actually parachuted himself quite a few times. It's fucking crazy. So he's that, a vet. He's a, he he's a kind of a vet suit kind of. Th- What's it called? Uh, high fields things. Yeah, he he officially can drive a plane by himself, like the ones that you spray uh, fields with, and he can uh, 
He can parachute. He's a ju- judo a skydiver. A, a judo junk kind of right. Yeah, he's a general junkie. Yeah. A, a ju- he likes hot, hot oh adrenaline. Yeah. yeah. So, so the fire. Yeah, the fire. He's got a pile of sticks in his yard because he's got to clean them up. They're the size of like what a sedan. It was it was a huge pile. It was big. Yeah. And I remember that we had a shitload of beer bottles because we didn't have a, a legal container to put the gasoline in. So we put them. We filled up a bunch of bottles with gasoline. Was, that, that, was it at the gas station? Yeah, yeah. I, I had to uh, uh, I had to balance them in the seat. Because <laughs> like, because I remember we, I haven't I hadn't seen see nothing in a, in a while or say nothing in a while. So I was like, you know. We're coming out here to have a fire, and it's oh, it's moist when we get there. I'm like we're fucking setting this thing on fire, and he's like, "Oh, I don't want gasoline." I'm like, "Well, f- we're fucking having a fire tonight. We're doing whatever we can." I kind of have a story about gasoline. After we're done, okay. you fucking interrupting cunt. What the hell is this shit? Whoa, the- Ross. What the hell, man? You, you know, Ireland's watching us right now. Okay, oh, yeah. you're yeah. gonna fuck. They don't like interrupters, okay? Not at all. You little make me cry. Don't cry. Whatever you do, you better you better do it and apologize. I'm sorry, my lads. What the hell is that shit? <laughs> that's like that's lads is like what boy is in English. Okay. No, no. Any yeah, lads. That's the flavor of flav. Okay. No, anyways. So we got a bunch of fucking bottles full of gasoline. What the, I don't even know what's going on. But no, you fucking run into the fire, like pouring them on. Oh yeah, yeah. And I, just every time you did it, it would go, <laughs> you know, like whatever noise fire makes, but it would just light up. And by the grace of God, Phil did not catch himself on fire. Yeah, and we, we had. Well, well, I I threw like ten matches in there, and it didn't go up. And then and then I remember the last one I went, this fucking cock sucking piece of shit motherfucker I'm I'm sw- I'm like just ranting like Joe Pesci in Home Alone and then <laughs> you know like and I, I, all I hear all I hear is me you motherfuckers in my last match bro <laughs> and then Bill laughing in the background <laughs> because because <laughs> even Bill being five feet behind me was too close and I got it right in front of my face I'm not kidding my my Bill my my beard was trimmed. Normally by the fire, and that was the best time I ever trimmed it. Honestly, <laughs> how long ago was was this? Two, three years now. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like a hell out of time. It uh, it was nice. Yeah, it was. You could do whatever the fuck you want out there. Yeah, Dude, I would love to go there if John will let me. That seems like if I think go- I think Gavin almost uh, crossbowed a possum out there. Because <laughs> we kind of had adult talks. So we're like, yeah, you go do kids stuff, like shoot some opossums with a crossbow. Well, well, good. So, did you hit him after he called you boy? No, no. I, I was like, I, uh, I, I explained to him. Well, I asked him. I'm like, you know, why are you saying it? He's like, oh, well, because it's trendy. Who told you this? He's like, oh, uh, Kihil said it. I'm like, who's Kihil? He's like, oh, he's this um Indian guy who wears a lot of Adidas. I'm like, well, you need to tell him that. That is not the type of language we use here. And Kihil, can you be my best boy? I don't. I don't know. I. I well, well, what? Do, I, how do you handle a situation like that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a father, but I'll tell him don't go out with the don't go out allowed with the crowd. I'm trying to bring back cool cats. What's up, you cool cats? That's you know my coworkers and I are trying to bring back sucker. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just yeah. referring to everyone as a sucker. And if you don't use the word sucker, you are, in fact, a sucker. I'm also trying to bring back crikey. Oh, crikey's good. Instead of criminy or um, sh- wait, sh- shit. Wait, crikey or crikey? Crikey, yeah. Perfect. Why don't we bother with none of these? You what? Why don't we bother with none of these? It's trendy, Ross. What the I hell's wrong trendy. with you? Uh, crikey. I'm really What's a wrong su- with I'm you? I'm really wearing a slipknot hat and a dying penis shirt. You do I look like I'm trendy? A little, but soon you'll be wearing a vest. And Dying then, fetus is huge enough to be in a, a wedding party jukebox. Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> do the wedding. There was no gorillas there, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> no. But 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 it was. I, I, I put on Dying Fetus during uh, Kelly's uh, dad's retirement party. 
Well, he did it with Eddie Bashid. Uh, no, it, it was just the family, so we we couldn't really do that much moshing at a table. <laughs> but I put that in converge on in between with um, all by myself. <laughs> I think that was a good retirement song. That, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> that nice uplifting. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Ross, you have a lot to say. What's on your mind? <laughs>